Hey, what is going on guys? It's Delvage and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to make a YouTube banner or channel art piece without the use of Photoshop 100% free. Now if you do want to learn how to make a YouTube channel banner with the use of Photoshop, I will leave a link to that in the description below because I have made a tutorial on that in the past, quite successful. So make sure to go check that out if you do want to use Photoshop in order to make this banner. But if you don't have Photoshop or you don't want to use Photoshop, that's completely fine. I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube banner or channel art 100% free here today with an online photo editor called Pixlr. So if we go to our Chrome web browser, we can type in pixlr.com slash editor and we will be granted a page right here. Now what I like to do is click this X button right here, go to File, New Image, and the dimensions will be 2560 by 1440. And click Transparent, this little box right here, and then click OK. So the first thing we want to do when we have our new page is to make sure we choose what color we want. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go to the gradient tool over here on the left side. And I don't know, I'll choose this red one looks pretty cool. So I'll just choose this red one. And then I'm going to click at the very bottom of my page and drag upwards. And it should create a red gradient for us. Now the next thing we want to do is add a background. Now depending on what your channel is, this is going to vary. If you're making a gaming channel, then by all means choose a gaming related background. If you're more into makeup, lifestyle, all of that other stuff, that's completely fine. Just choose a background that suits whatever your channel is about. So I'll be right back after choosing a background that I find on Google. Okay guys, so I have found a background on Google. Now one thing I will say is to make sure that it's HD, meaning at least 1080p. So if you can see here, the dimensions for this are 2560 by 1548, and that is completely fine. It's actually larger than our dimensions for our banner, which is great. So you wanna make sure you have HD quality images. So once we have our image, we're going to go right click, save image as, and on the desktop, just so it's easy to find, I'm just going to put uh, background, if I can spell, image. There we go, click save. And then I'm gonna go back to the photo editor. And what we're going to do is go to file, open image, and we're gonna find it on our desktop, backgroundimage.jpg. After we find it, we're gonna go press control and A, control C, Go back to the move tool, select our previous document, and press control V, and it should paste it into our background layer. Now one thing I like to do after I do this is make sure that we go to the hue slash saturation in the image, or I'm sorry, the adjustments, hue slash saturation, or you can press control and U alternatively. And I like to turn the saturation down to about negative 80. There we go, click OK. After we do that, I like to go to filter, and where's Gaussian Blur? Gaussian Blur is up top here. And I like to blur by about 70. After we finish the blur, I like to go to the Layer Settings button right here. You can see my mouse. Make sure that layer is selected and click it. And change the opacity to about 70%. And then change the mode from Normal to Overlay. And as we can see, it adds that into the background of our image. Now the next step is to add some text to our banner. So create a new layer by selecting this new layer button right here. Go to the type tool at the bottom and you kind of have to eyeball where the text is. Make sure that it's in the center of the banner because that's what's going to show up on YouTube. So for my purpose, I'm just gonna put Delvage in all caps and uh, make sure the size is a good size. Maybe like, I don't know, 100 to 110, something like that. And I don't know, the font will choose, I don't know, something random, um, this font right here. And then we're gonna change the style to bold and italic, why not? Align uh, it to the center, click OK. After we have our text, the next step is to rasterize that text. So I'm gonna right click on the text layer and go to rasterize layer. And if you want to resize the text, this is what you have to do, just go to edit, free transform and you can select how big you want it and I'm just gonna make it slightly bigger here drag it upwards so we have more room to put whatever we want underneath our main texts uh, there we go press enter I'm gonna create another layer above that and go to the text tool once again and I'm gonna say 
welcome uh, welcome to the channel with an exclamation point and I'm gonna make it italicized just like the main text again right click rasterize layer edit free transform and we can size it however we like I'm gonna put it right underneath the main text now after we have the text finished I like to add a light to add a bit more dimension to the background so all we have to do is go to the brush tool here on the top left and go to the brush settings just click here change the diameter all the way up change the hardness all the way down and change the color to white which it already is for me if it's not just make sure your lightness is all the way at 100 click OK and then right above the text I'm gonna click once and it should create a light above our text now you might not like the look of this but remember YouTube doesn't show the entire banner that we're making it only shows a small portion in the center and the very center of this light is not going to be shown only a little bit which is going to look really nice now if you want to add some images to your banner all you have to do is go back to Google and search for whatever image you want I will be right back after I find an image that I want to add to my banner okay guys so I have found an image that I want to add to my banner and using the exact same principles as before I'm just going to right click and save it to my desktop save image as and Twitter logo I'll just save it as for the purpose of this video go to desktop click save go back to the pixel editor file open image find it on the desktop control a control C using the move tool go back to our original image just click it control V and now we have the image into our banner in order to resize it just go to edit free transform and there you have it now this isn't the coolest looking banner in the world but it definitely will get the point across for your very own channel art or for your very first time trying to design some channel art for yourself again if you want to go more into depth with this I have a Photoshop tutorial that I will put on screen right now and I will also leave a link to in the description so if you want to learn how to make a banner in Photoshop which is going to look a lot better than this one make sure you click that uh, but for the purposes of this video this is how you make a 100% free banner in Pixlr. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Leave some comments in the comment section below on what you want to see from me in the future. And until next time, guys, my name's Delvidge, and I'm out. Peace.